Hello, all you beautiful people. Today is an exciting day because it is new pen day. I have two new fountain pens and I'm going to unbox them right now with you. Stay tuned. Welcome back, all you lovely people. It is so good to have you here. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. Today, I am doing an unboxing of these, not one, but two new fountain pens. They are the big rewards for my accomplishments during NaNoWriMo. If you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, you can click the tag at the top of the screen here, and it will take you to my playlist of the setup of my bullet journal in preparation of NaNo, as well as the vlog that I put up at the end of NaNo. Today isn't about NaNo, today is about pens. So let's open these beauties up. I'm so excited. The first one is a Sailor. This is a Pro Gear Slim. The second is a Laban. This is my first Laban and I am so excited. I'm gonna open this one first because I, I can't wait. Yep, I'm gonna do it, okay. This is the Laban Rosa in Lilac. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's just as pretty as I thought it would be. Okay, uh, bright orange bookmark. And we checked the box because last time I didn't. And apparently I'm not missing anything this time. Uh, okay, this is my guarantee. The Okay, so I can deal with that all later. Let's put all these back in the box. <laughs> right, right, it slides. I know things. Ah, look at this beauty. I don't know if it's going to show up, but this is a purple and green resin. And there are like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's got all these like great layers and depths to it. It looks like there's chunks of leaves or something. In it. I mean, there's not, it's just like an illusion, but look at the way the light hits all these different pieces. It's so pretty. All right, and I've seen people do this. It is a one full turn and a half to get the cap off. <gasps> Look at this nib, guys. It is like a gold and steel. It's a steel nib, but it's plated. And look at that beautiful L. I got this in a bold because I knew I was gonna wanna use lots of shimmery, shiny inks in this pen. Look at how the light reflects off of this resin. It is stunning. And I love the gold rings and the really beautiful finials that match the body. This, oh my dear, look at this. This is pure luxury. I am so, so happy with this pen. And the cartridge, it has a converter with Le Bon printed right on it. Look at this. I love that little touch of detail. And does this screw off? Oh no, it, it doesn't screw, but it... Um, so yeah, there's the, the converter and I love those brass uh, threads there. That's super shiny and pretty. Means I can't eyedropper this because I was told you can only do that if it's a plastic body, but I have no intention of doing that anyway. Uh, no, I don't think I'll write with this posted. It makes it a little awkward. The cap doesn't sit really, really tight on the back. I will probably use this unposted. But, I mean, it's postable. So that is the Le Bon Rosa. Oh, guys. My, uh, I love this. I can't wait to write with it. Okay, so now we're opening up our Sailor. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. It is like a bluish color. I like the purple finials on this. That's why I got it, because I like that 
teal blue and the purple. This is in a 21 karat gold nib. I've never tried a gold nib before. I mean, you guys know what I've done because everything except my Duke Sapphire has been opened on this channel. So I've not used a gold nib before, but I figured when I hit 40,000 words, that was kind of a big accomplishment that I didn't know if I was gonna get to. I was expecting to get to 30, 40 was a surprise. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put that little bit extra forward into it and try it out and see what the writing experience is like. Um, Cause who knows, gold nibs might be my jam. We're gonna find out. I love this sort of almost translucent body. And this color is so like the sea foam. It's so beautiful. All right, so we've got one full turn and two full, tur oh, two full turns takes the cap off. Again, I don't know if that's important, but I've seen people do it. And again, this is a gold, 21 karat gold nib, but it's got that, that silver emboss. I think it's actually white gold emboss on it. And it's so pretty. I love that anchor. What a beautiful nib. I'm so pleased. And I like the gold bands and I love, love the touches of the purple finials. That's the top and bottom tips. They're beautiful. And this gold band around the middle that or that says sailor, really, really beautiful. Uh, this feels a little short, unposted. It's uh, I probably won't write with it like that. Whereas post, yeah, that feels much better posted. When you put the cap on the back, it fits nice and snug. It doesn't screw on, it just caps, but it feels much better. And oh, look how beautiful this pen is, guys. I absolutely am in love. I love the color combinations. I think this is such a beautiful pen. I don't think it comes with a converter. No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, I, I'm so happy with this. I am really, really, really pleased. All right, so let's ink these up and come back and see how they feel. Let's see how they write. It does have a bit of a scratchy texture. Not not super scratchy, because I have I have some that are scratchy. This one is, um, but it does have some feedback. Like you can definitely feel every stroke. Not quite as much as writing with a pencil, but it does have some feedback. I am feeling the paper through the pen. Like I like the size of how it writes. This is nice. It feels good. And she's just beautiful. I'm so happy with this pen. All right, uh, the Le Bon Rosa I have inked up with the Ferris Wheel Press Jade Rabbit. This is a very light purple with a lot of shimmer, a lot of silver shimmer. Oh my goodness, look at how juicy this nib is. It is still wet, it is so wet. This just glides across the page like silk. Oh my goodness. So much ink is getting down on the page. So much shimmer. It's just gushing out of this pen. I love it. It is so smooth. Now this, this is a broad. A broad might be a little bigger of a nib than I'm comfortable with but man, does it feel good to write with. I think if I get another Le Bon, I would probably go with a medium nib. And I might, if I ever go to a pen show, I might get this filed down to a medium. But wow, look at how this writes. This feels so good, but my strokes are so wide. I prefer to have like a little more control when I'm writing. But man, for drawing, this is fantastic. Now, I don't know if that's because it's a broad nib that's being that that juicy and that silky, but man. So this is the Le Bon Rosa in a broad nib and it is beautiful. It is stunning. I did write with this posted, but um, I'm not sure that I would continue doing so. This is pretty darn close to my grail pen, guys. This is, uh, this is pretty spectacular. I think if I get it, if I get it filed down to a medium, I think this might be it. But 
I'm really enjoying trying all of these different kinds of pens. So I think I'm going to try some of the big brands throughout the year. I'm going to get a few more pens and just sort of see what's out there because this, this is beautiful. Can you see how shimmery it is? So those are my two newest additions to my pen collection, the Le Bon Rosa and the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. They are both stunning pens. They are both fantastic and I'm super excited to continue my exploration of fountain pens. Thank you so much for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and drop down in the comments below. Let me know what your current grail pen is. I want to hear it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!